The next day, the weather starts to improve. The Ornithocyrus waits impatiently in his cave and busies himself with grooming. He is plagued by biting parasites that tap into the blood vessels on his wing membrane. If he is to find a mate, he must be in prime condition. He has to keep the parasites in check. In the morning air, smaller reptiles are now out on the wing. But the Ornithocyrus is so large, he must wait until the heat of the day creates warm updrafts of air strong enough to lift him. But time is short. His body is already showing the first signs of readiness for mating. Faint colors have started to bloom on his beak's display crest. At last, he can resume his epic journey. For thousands of kilometers, he follows the coast of North America. Like all giant pterosaurs, he uses his enormous wings to ride on the warm air currents that rise over land. His whole body weighs less than 100 kilograms and this helps him glide effortlessly over huge distances. But soon he must face open water. This is the young Atlantic. It is still only 300 kilometers wide. To reach the other side, he will need all his gliding skills to exploit the air currents that form over waves. Along the way, he must feed. But flying low brings its dangers. Hungry monsters watch him from below the waves. An entire day on the wing, and he has arrived on the most western of Europe's islands.